Hello, salut, konnichiwa, this is Yan, aka Goyukin, and I'm your host, Lottery Time. Oh yeah! <laughs> After another year of tanking, now it's the time. Oh yeah, baby. NHL entry draft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's not the time. Ah, no. After being criticized too much during the holidays, during their Christmas holidays, the Canadians were on a roll of victories, trying to impress friends and family. Be drafting Connor Bedard with they, forgot, <laughs> they forgot. They forgot about Connor Bedard. Well, this gotta be difficult. Montreal need goals. A 50 goal goal scorer actually, or a 100-point player. You cannot win the Stanley Cup without this. And you need a super, super, <laughs> super offensive defenseman like Bobby Orr, Coffey, Edmund, Makar. Hello, Lane Hudson. And a hot goaltender, or a goaltender on a hot streak. Ah, oh, <laughs> come on, not Chicago, not Chicago, at least it's an original six. This is the general consensus between fans and scouts almost all year long. The ultimate draft ranking preview. The spotlight's on you guys for the sake of the entertainment and create a little bit more suspense. I'll reveal the rest of my picks near the end of the video. No! <laughs> Why not? Maybe. Lots of debate have been going on. Should Montreal rebuild? Yes, absolutely. But carefully. Putting the good building blocks to an already solid formation. Montreal is not an easy market. Difficult to attract great players who are fleeing to the States. All their wife want to go in a warmer country, bikini on the beach, having fun, tequila, you know. Gugun, you know. Who wants to freeze their balls in the snow? <laughs> Difficult. More money! <laughs> More money! More money! Less tax, warmer climate, bigger star system. Oh yeah, baby! This is a new era for the Montreal Canadiens. Owners and GM, spend your money wisely. You know, like me. <laughs> it's been 30 years now. 30! 30 years since the Montreal Canadiens have won the Stanley Cup. Unbelievable! 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 Any Canadian team, in fact. It's insane! 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 This is insane! Cuckoo! <laughs> anyway, Montreal was never a great organization to develop talents. Once you're draft, you're on your own, kid. Well, it seems things are changing under the new management. Jeff, Ken, the new coach Martin Saint Louis, and the rest of the staff, organization. Good. But remember this. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> You're lucky. You're lucky this time. <laughs> Wait a minute here. Wait a minute, Jan. The Aki gurus and insiders will claim the Montreal Canadian, or rather the National Hockey League, is not a league of development. 
to what I say. Bullshit! <laughs> Bullshit! Bullshit! It's a league we teach and develop, like any other league. Even if it's elite, they develop players, coaches, GMs, trainers, medical staff, analytics. They all learn and improve. The league is always evolving. Each year, lots of organizations try to emulate the last winner. Their system, players, the way of doing things, marketing. In a world where the revenues are split 50-50 between the owners and the players, stars and superstars generate a very big chunk of the NHL money. You would be insane not to pick Michikov. Just his skill alone is worth the ticket of admission. You would be insane! Insane! <laughs> not to pick Michikov. As for his character, like I said, it's all about development and teaching. And as for politics, there's no place for politics in sports. Sports and art are above politics. Mark my word. <laughs> now, here's the list you've all been waiting for. I'm proud to select from the country super cold in the winter, but melting pretty fast because of global warming. At number one, Connor Beda. And I'm also proud to select at number two from another cold country, Matvey Michikov. And finally, also proud to select at number three from another super cold country in the winter, Leo Carlson. Here you go, number one, two, three. Good job, boys. In the 2023 NHL, the Chicago Blackhawks are very proud to select from the Regina Pats, the Western Hockey League, Connor Bedard. One of the greatest! <laughs> One of the greatest draft. Great young talents. Amazing shot. Great IQ smart. Hockey sense. Playmaking, stick handling, offensive and defensive awareness, passes accuracy, shot, shoot and score. Only upside in the top five. The Montreal Canadiens probably made their biggest mistake of their history, not drafting Michkov. A generational talent, maybe even better than Connor Bedar. Linebacker. Offensively. Great job, Daniel. I wish Michkov a great career. And also Daniel Briard as, as a GM. Great job, Daniel. I'm also officially a Philadelphia Flyers fan now. Guys, he's the best player available. Montreal didn't take the best player available. At number five. As for Rainbacker, not as talented as Michikov. Even if it's a defenseman. But yes, it's going to be pretty good to see him uh, play with the super talented Lane Hudson. The perfect match. In that optic, it's not a bad pick. To all those young players who've just been drafted, <laughs> I wish you all the best. Long and great career. This is Jan. A.K.A. Guyukin, I'm your host, and remember, see you next time. Peace and love. Peace and love. Oh yeah. <laughs>